studio. I feel like it's always me and you starting the vlogs at the moment. Iconic duo. Hello. Oh my goodness. Shut the baby gate. I don't know why I'm shutting the baby gate when you can't even roll over, sweetie. Let uh, alone walk down the stairs, but that's just mum instinct for you. Do you know when you have a baby and you just can't stop smelling them? And then you just want to like inhale them. Well, I'm still in that stage with Romeo. This is Romeo's beauty chair, everybody. This is your getting ready chair, huh? This is the makeup spot, huh? Yeah. yeah. Hello. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Please shine down on me. These little children are asking you to please come out so they can play with you. Romeo, stop, stop. I can't get anything done. Hello, my gorgeous loves. I was going to say angels then. That was a throwback. Hello, my gorgeous angels. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I feel like this is just my identity. I feel like this is just how I look. Like, do you know when you, like, design an avatar online? Avatars, like, you know, like, the, um, like, emojis, but they're not emojis. Should be me, right? Hair in a bun, but it has hair literally coming out everywhere. Grey flared leggings. That has literally been my daily appearance for about three and a half months. But, hi, and welcome back. Today we have a very exciting vlog, and I feel like I can't even talk very loudly because this is a big secret and I haven't told anyone. I've literally told one. Well, apart from a very select a few people that i'll introduce you to later in the vlog but i literally feel like i have to talk quiet and don't, don't even know why because connor's literally not even home right now him and Satan have popped out but it is officially our one year wedding anniversary on sunday which is in two days time from this very moment right now guys i've done it again because i'm literally just the queen of surprises i have booked us a surprise holiday that connor has literally I don't think any clue about whatsoever. The same place that we got married, which is Ibiza. Yo-Yo says he's just... Can you wait? Are you so excited? Oh. Are you? We've always said that it would be like such a lovely tradition for us if we managed to go back for our anniversary every year. And hopefully that's something that we will do, but yeah like we just haven't got around to planning it this year i just thought let's just do it do you know what i mean life's the living and yeah like i don't think he's got any idea at all we fly on very early hours on sunday morning so we're gonna have a 3am wake up call with two kids which is gonna be so fun yeah we're just going for a few days and also i have prized him with a few of our best friends to come out there and meet us as well and those of them are on the same flight as us so i'm gonna literally try my hardest until the very last minute like until we literally see them at the airport before before we go to check in and they're gonna hopefully be like surprise and comes hopefully gonna be like oh what and hopefully this is the moment that you're gonna see later on in this vlog fingers crossed and i'm looking for it out the bag but i've got like a massive filler and I've made loads of plans like oh my god i'm literally I, i'm i'm just so excited so anyway tonight we are going out um for a date night which actually i'm really looking forward to because this is a very very rare occurrence i am actually still breastfeeding romeo um so i don't really leave the kids at all much at the moment but I managed to get a babysitter and we're gonna go and watch oppenheimer and then we might even treat ourselves to our waggers before the um before the movie the plan is to give him my anniversary card which i've actually not even looked at yet that this is what i ordered I actually got it from Papier. I always, we always used to do our um, cards and stuff from Moonpig, but I thought I'd do something a bit different this time. And I'm gonna give him the card. In the card, it just says we're going to Ibiza. And yeah, I'm just so excited. I can't believe I've managed to keep it a surprise all this time, to be honest. There have been so many 
points literally nearly slipped up like when i've been buying outfits and stuff like i've been ordering so many bikinis because we've got a couple of plans to go to a few um beach clubs it's like the one time of my life i've actually been really grateful that connor's not particularly observant to my online shopping addictions because if he was he'd probably be like why are you literally buying bikinis when Honey, I know you're not going to be going in any swimming pools for the rest of the year. Luckily, I haven't had to think of a response to that because he's not noticed. I put a little bit of makeup on, which I know I'm fully going to be regretting because the um, movie won't end until like 11 o'clock at night, which, yeah, I'm, I'm foolish, put it that way. I'm foolish for booking such a late film. I'm literally going to be sat in that screen wiping off this very concealer that I'm applying. But you know what? I feel like I just, I never like do this anymore i ne mom, the mums that get it get it i never do this anymore and i'm just i'm connecting with me a little bit tonight you know anyway so welcome back guys i'm so excited Ooh. wish me luck let's go to a pizza <coughs> yeah let's go yummy <laughs> hello everybody welcome back to a weekend vlog. vlog this weekend we are celebrating our one year wedding anniversary let's go we made it one year everyone oh con you couldn't have even put on your official we were in wedding a rush ring. no we were in a rush for our date night we celebrate our anniversary i'll wear it on the official one year if anybody doesn't know about this situation connor has about five different wedding rings okay people literally Three. dm me saying um where did connor get his black wedding See? ring from that's so that's like people such a cool know. thing See? wedding connor's wedding ring is not black this is his gym this rubber is my, one it well all the time. probably cost about a pound from amazon 12 quid actually. actually and it looks cool it does look cool but you. you've got a proper silver i've got a band, proper you? silver band you're right for important meals when we go on dates normally um Didn't special occasions and we're gonna try and get some wagamama's wagamama's we've got a voucher early. now i've got this voucher how i won a competition at the gym did you i did well done who could burn the most calories in 30 seconds on the ski machine oh my gosh and i got 23 so if anyone beats that i will give you a 15 pound wagamama's voucher yeah i love it so Connor, I know our anniversary is not until Sunday, oh, but I actually Ellie. want to give you your card now. Why? Because it's our special date night for our anniversary. You can your card as well then. Joking. Oh. <laughs> Do well, you going to double my me then? <laughs> hubby. You have to read it out. Your card is actually back there. But it's not written in but it, I guess. Not, yeah, you ain't got any words in it yet. Is that why you said I couldn't look in the yeah, front seat? It was on the front seat. So you stopped in at Tesco's on the way home with saying... Oh! Well, I was very emotional at this point. Yeah, you are. That was a lovely moment. Look at you, can see it in my eyes. Other than the birth of our children, best moment of my life, what about you? Yeah, I'd have to agree. Oh, we actually got sent a, um, an anniversary card from our celebrant. Did you see what it? Ozo? On, the, on the kitchen. No, island. I didn't see it. Yeah. Shout out Ozo. Bless him. Right, you ready? It said, happy Ozoversary. Oh. I know. You. Thank you for making the first year of marriage the best of my life. 365 days and every single second has been magical. It's such a lovely thought to know that we are still just at the start of our lifelong journey together. One year ago today, we were having the time of our lives celebrating our relationship, put on a beautiful oh, relationship out on the beautiful island of Ibiza. Pack your bags. We're heading back there on Sunday morning to do it all again. <laughs> Ellie, how have you done this, wife? Uh, I have to get a refund on my tickets. Have you actually? <laughs> because do you know what? Give I me went. A kiss. I went on your emails yesterday to try and find the airport parking service that we always use, and loads were popping up saying, "Book now your airport parking." I thought I've done it. He's not double bluffing me, and, book, and also booked a trip oh to Ibiza. Oh my god, Els. Yeah, we're going back to Ibiza. You, me, and the boys. Oh, I don't know what to do. You're making me emotional. <laughs> wow. I love, love you. it. I love you. Where are we staying? Come on, tell me. We're staying at a villa. A villa? Yeah. Yeah, we can't do hotels anymore, can we? No, we're staying at a villa with our boys. Oh, I love it, boo. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So we'll be there on our anniversary. We're flying we'll fly out, out on, on the early hours what is it? of Sunday morning. We have to wake up at 3 a.m. No, we don't. Yeah, we That's do. how you start an anniversary. It's 7 a.m. flight. 
from Bristol. Yeah. Have you? Did you do the parking? No. Are you excited? I'm buzzing. Thank you very much. You're very I can't welcome. wait. First, we're going to do this every year. Yes, we have to do this every year. I'll surprise year. you next year. How about that? You won't. It will oh, be well. me again, and then we'll have two holidays booked to Ibiza, and we'll have to spend a night at each hotel. No, we'll just. I'll just. I'll always book like a few days after. Just in case. Okay, fair enough. And then I'll book on the day. Yeah, you book the, you look, you book the day and <laughs> the day go. after, I'll do the rest. See you at the airport! <laughs> so, I've had my gift. Now it's time to give my beautiful wife her gift. One whole year ago today, I married my best friend and made the best decision of my life to walk <laughs> down the aisle with you and say I do. And as we said in the last video, so these gifts are for paper. Yeah. That was the inspiration behind it. So here we are, you have two gifts. Okay. So I'm not... <sighs> I haven't seen them either. I'm not opening them. In a year since we walked down the aisle and I've never loved you more. The night sky, I'd be the 20th of August 2022. That's what we got married under. Aww. You see what it's like tomorrow night? See if it's similar. Oh, Bubby. What a brilliant idea for the first anniversary. <laughs> we like looking at the stars, don't we? Don't look, don't look. Don't look. Keep your eyes closed. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, that's not going to work. That's going to be so special for the kids to keep wondering, you know? Thank you so much. Happy one year. Happy one year. Good morning. Good morning. You woke up all by yourself, ready to go to the airport. Is it because you're so excited? Hey cute boy! Airport fit check! Look at my baby! Put the teddy bears on tonight! <laughs> Should we go wait your big brother up? You're waiting ready aren't you? Come on! past five we drive to Bristol Airport Connor's just up there we have to drive separately to the airport because we literally have to take so much stuff with us now like three suitcases a double pram a travel car etc anyway all of our friends are here waiting for us inside and I don't think Connor has any idea still that we're going away with our friends so okay we made it through security all checked in with time to spare Thank Oh my god, I can't believe we pulled it off. 
but yeah, we're all checked in and I thought I'd give you a quick filler tour before we all head in because it's about 3.30 in the afternoon at the moment. We're just chilling by the pool. Both of the kids are asleep. Satan was exhausted because we've been up for literally 12 hours now and he went down about half an hour ago. That was a much needed sleep, but I need to show you guys this filler because I am obsessed. I actually have some really exciting news. This filler is rented through a company called Ibiza Summer Villas and it sleeps with 18 people, it's massive. And I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway on my Instagram with them, so make sure you go and follow me over on there because these fillers that they have are just like out of this world and I'm so blown away. And I feel really honored and really lucky that they want to give one of you guys this experience because it's just beautiful. We arrived and they had the fridge like fully stocked for us. They've got a chef coming um, for us tomorrow night to do like a barbecue and stuff. I'm just feeling really really grateful really really lucky and really excited to be able to share this experience with one of you guys as well but let me give you guys a quick tour so when i tell you that this filler is massive like it's massive this is this isn't even the entrance it goes down these stairs here and then there's like a massive drive there's two separate annexes down here i mean obviously i know you can't see them from here but there's like a two bedroom annex there a three bedroom annex there can you just hear that let's just take a second is that not the sound of holiday? But this is the entrance, and this is the pool area over here. We've got some sunbeds, some beach beds. The guys are just chilling by the pool. The girlies having some food. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> beach babes. And then coming into the villa, it's a full archway in here. With and obviously when you open these it's a really beautiful view I don't even know if like this filter is something you guys are interested in but I'm definitely interested in stuff like this I love seeing property tours and especially on holiday you know like room tours and stuff so maybe one of you can this is Saint's room in here he is currently asleep this is one of the bedrooms in here we've got another room in here with a massive bathroom and a gorgeous balcony again. What's the view like on this one? Oh, just stun. Our bedroom's over there, but it's currently being cleaned, so I'll come back to that later. And three floors. I tell you what, it doesn't matter how much bread and alioli I'm going to be in on this trip. I'm going to be coming back for it as a fiddle with all these stairs. Another bedroom, and then this is like the main living area. I don't know how it comes across on camera, but it is huge like it feels so big and then over here we have the kitchen and again another little balcony we've got the fridge stocked up we had some melon when we came here we had like loads of pizzas um but lucy and sam did a trip to Lidl, so we've got some more uh iced coffees beers for the boys loads of salad and fruit juices the icon, these, oh my god, they're so nice. So yeah, we've been up since, um, yeah, like 3 a.m. And honestly, I actually don't feel too bad considering that all the kids are both asleep at the same time. Any mum of two or multiple kids knows that if your children are sleeping at the same time, they you do what you can to rest and rejuvenate. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go and relax by the pool with my friends and celebrate my one year wedding anniversary with Con. Can't believe it's been a year. <laughs> Last night, we are having a little bit of dinner in Old Town. An area in Old Town that I've never actually been before. We came to find this restaurant called La Oliva, I think it's called. I think it's a restaurant, but we've decided to eat somewhere else. So it's literally like a whole part to, um, Ibiza that I've actually never been before. It's really, really cute. This is the dish that I went for. It's like a prawn pasta. Prawn has got a steak. Yeah, yeah, he's got a steak. Romeo is away. Jane has ditched us again for Jess and Abbott at the other end of the table. <laughs> I'm excited for some gelato, to be honest. But we're having a lovely first night, aren't we? Perfect. Oh my God, guys. I just literally had the biggest fangirl moment I've literally had in a really, really long time. Coming from someone who 
guess fangirl moments a lot this was a big one okay so we were just walking back through old town to get our minibus i saw najin her name is pronounced she's the founder of jizu she's literally stunning she it's just like oh my god she's such inspo for me i would love love her content and i walked past her, i was like oh my god Carl. that's her Carl was like oh my god go and say hi and i was like no i'm literally so nervous like i don't want to interrupt her evening she's with her baby you know and then connor was like ellie how many times have you said how much it makes your day when people come up to you and say that they love your content and I thought, do you know what? That's so right. Like, no matter where I've been or what situation I've been in, if someone comes up and says the same thing to me, I, it literally makes my day for the whole rest of the day. So if anybody has ever done that, then please know how much it means to me. I went up and said hi to her and I asked for so Who am I? I was literally so nervous. But she was so nice and so sweet and oh my gosh, just even more beautiful in person. I couldn't believe it. Fine girl moment of the trip. Good morning, everybody. Yes, we're family. We have made it to Formentara. 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 That's what I meant. This Gracias. Is my, my bestie, CVJ. You Some know of the you vibes. guys might remember him from back in the day. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? Make or break, babe. <laughs> we was talking about. Do you know what the best thing about make or break was? What? The guacamole. Oh, I was going to be sentimental and say because we met you guys. That as well, yeah, that was first. <laughs> but we are at Formentara today and we're going to head to a beach and get some lunch. It's 40 degrees, there's not any it is wind so hot. in the sky. You're in a really dark t-shirt as well. Guys, you not who, wants to see, who wants to see the body on him? Come on, look. X-rated situation, you've got a stripper on the cam. You've got a stripper on the YouTube. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Abby. <laughs> this lot. Daddy jump in with you. Jump in with Daddy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Again. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. As usual. The same story whenever I come on holiday. It always takes me a day or two to remember. I need to vlog. So it's currently day three on holiday. Yesterday we went to Formentara, which I think I maybe got like one clip of being there. So unlike me, I had a few. Oh, can I have a kiss. Oh. Abby. Oh, Abby. But today we are going to Blue Marlin, and I'm really Where's gonna. That? Where's Jas? Yeah. Jas is getting dressed, I think. Saint has the two loves of his life here. My best friend Jess and her sister and another one of my best friends, Abby. Literally, Saint has them wrapped around his little finger. Like, mum and dad aren't good enough anymore. It has to be Jess and Abby. Yeah, we're just having a nice slow morning in the pool at the moment. It's just yeah. blissful here, really. Ready? Big jump. Whoa. Whee. Saint, swim to mummy. Come on, swim to mummy. Good job, Good keep going. Good swimming, keep going. Kick, kick, kick. Ah. Swim, swim, swim. Hello. Hello. Are we vlogging now? Are we live? I can't even see what we've got no, going on. Yeah, we are live. Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. We're at Blue Marlin. I feel like we're really zoomed in, actually. Yeah, we're at Blue Marlin. Oh, where's our beach pads? It is absolutely gorgeous here. Filmed, I'm hoping, a get ready with me for this look. So, go and check out my... TikTok. Loving it so far here. It's very relaxed, very chilled. Like if you've ever been to Ocean Beach, it's basically the opposite. I'm in the right mind to take these hair extensions out, to be honest. Go and see and might just make up off, you know? Everyone say hi. Hey. Hi guys. Yes, how's it going? Okay guys, I'm trying really hard to remember to vlog. I've got my first drink. This is Ellie and this is my first drink. This is Ellie and this is my first drink. Oh, Jess. <laughs> By the way, everyone, this is my best friend, Jess. Hey, this guys. Was girly. I was talking about my Instagram story. Yeah. Jess, should we actually do a um, DMC about how we know each other? We know each other. Okay, okay, so Connor actually doesn't even, even know. Why don't you even know? Does he even start? Oh. Found my road when we were about, what, 12? Younger than that. And we used to share lifts in school together. Yeah, and, and then we became best friends. Yeah. And we've been inseparable ever since, basically. And we're polar opposites of each other as we well. We are polar opposites. Tried to get Ellie on a couple of strawberry daiquiri today, it's not going very well. Jess, I'm 
She's two sips down and everyone else on their second drink already. No, you're not. <laughs> you're on your drink. Con's got his steak sandwich. What's that in there? Out of ten? A five. Should we try our chicken wraps together? Yeah, gonna dunk it in Are you going to dunk it in the dip? Don't know. Oh, yeah, I'll give it a go. Cheers. What have you got, Lou? the same. Yeah. Lou's got... Have you not had your sushi yet? No. No, the sushi is coming. Is, it? is that not over there? What have you got, Laura? You know you're with the right group of friends when we come to the beach club and food is the first thing we order. So there's a guy from Love Island over there. And we're trying to set Abby up for Mark and Jess. We're going to set Ellie's going to go over Nick's sunglasses. Yeah, what? and then when we're on the dance, we've got to And then I'm going to put them on Abby. Oh my God, I'm Abby and Jess are sisters, by the way, guys. Do you think they look similar? We're like twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the actual age gap between you? Two years? Two years. And I act older. Yes, yeah, you do act both. older. <laughs> but oh. we're going to... Abby's going to be on the next season of Love Island. <laughs> oh, wait, no, she's not, because she's going to be coupled off with... <laughs> It's a really, really thick guy. <laughs> <laughs> In Abby's world. Abby's a single. She's a single Pringle ready to mingle. Woo! We're the only sister couple on this trip, actually, guys. Yeah. yeah. Your... Nips are out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big so. baby girl problems. Guys, we're about to do a shot. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look at each other's eyes on seven minutes, it's bad. Do we have to eat seven grapes on the table? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Wake up there. Wake up there. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. Ellie. Do you have to eat all that? Hello, my loves. It is our last full day here at this gorgeous villa in Ibiza. And um, I finally feel like I've got a good five minutes to just really catch you all up and chat because the majority of the group have left now. A lot of them got on a flight late last night to go home. So now it's just us and the kids and Abby and Stephen. I'm just soaking it all up, to be honest with you. The babies are currently asleep. Well, Connor's trying to currently get Romeo to sleep. Saints have been asleep for about an hour and just relaxing i didn't really manage to vlog at all yesterday um but we went to a place called leo last night and oh my god guys like genuinely if you're coming out to ibiza even if it even like whoever you're with even if you're with family even if it's just two of you like as a couple or if you're on a hen do with like a massive group of friends or something honestly all the times i've been to ibiza every place i've been leo's i will be coming back every single time we get we come to ibiza like my favorite favorite place i think we've ever been here honestly i absolutely loved it it's basically in ibiza marina which it looks pretty new like all of the shops and stuff it's quite new and quite built up and it's all of the designer shops and at the end of the marina there's leo's and it's next to um a really nice bar as well called cappuccinos or something i think but it, I can't, I don't even really know how to explain it. It's like a massive venue with huge open windows that looks out um, over onto the Ibiza Old Town. And it's right where like all of the super yachts and everything like that park up. And oh my God, like, it gives me so much inspiration for my vision board. I was like, I'm literally adding a super yacht to my vision board now. But it's basically somewhere you go for dinner and drinks. And the food that they do there, I heard quite mixed reviews before we went. So I was a little bit nervous because I was starving hungry. I mean, you guys know what I'm like, literally really hungry, really wanted loads of food. And I'd heard mixed reviews on the food. Like there were reviews saying that the food was rubbish and that it was really plain stuff. I don't really understand what they were talking about because I thought the food was literally to die for and the idea of it is that you have dinner like with this incredible show and the music oh my god we're talking like Beyonce, Backstreet Boys, Britney Spears the the theme of this um season was called Back to the Future so it was kind of like music throughout the years and I just adored it the dancing was incredible there is a Leo's in London and a Leo's in Mykonos as well and I really, really want to go to the London one. But when I was there, I was like, this is somewhere that everybody I know would love. Like, I wish we'd gone as a big group before loads of people went home yesterday. I also would love to come back, like, with my dad and take him and his wife and sisters. Like, oh, it's just, it's just absolutely brilliant. I, I, I loved it, if you can't tell. I just think you guys would absolutely love it. There is a minimum spend and it's a little bit pricey, but it's the kind of place that 
you stay there for the whole night like you kind of go at half past eight have dinner through until like 11 that's the whole time that the show is going on and then from midnight onwards it turns into a really amazing nightclub until like literally five or six in the morning obviously staying out until then babes you know i mean i've got two babies to come home to but yeah it was literally just amazing so anyway at the moment the boys are currently asleep and when they wake up we're gonna head to bambuku which is another one of my favorite places i think actually in a bit maybe tomorrow i'm gonna like sit down and really talk to you guys all about how we find doing ibiza with kids because every time i post that i'm out here i get messages like how do you find ibiza with children i really want to bring mine but all i've heard is it's like a party island and I'm just gonna say there's a reason why we chose to get married in Ibiza there's a reason why we want to come back every year it's honestly not just a party island at all there are so many gorgeous gorgeous really beautiful family things to do here and Bambuku is a really great um family friendly beach club that you can take the kids to they do like face painting there's loads of kids activities it's really really kid friendly kids pools etc it's just a great place so i'm really excited to take the kids there later i was putting romeo to sleep a minute ago i was actually just um scrolling through some instagram comments which i've already spoken about this on my stories and i just want to say if you have responded to my stories about this or you've left me a lovely comment i genuinely really want you to know how much i appreciate it i can't tell you how thankful i am for all of the love but i just i just kind of wanted to say on here as well that i got quite mixed reviews to say the least on my um my swimming costume pic that i posted when we went to blue marlin my like white cut out swimsuit with the roses here that was an outfit that i genuinely was so excited to wear i ordered it online i was like oh my god like i'm really excited to wear this i mean you guys know what my life is like at home i'm literally always wearing like baggy t-shirts and leggings and i mean that's like my what i wear anyway regardless of whether i'm two or three months postpartum or not like i just i never really get glam i never really dress up to be honest in my day-to-day -day life i'm always in track suits and stuff so i was really looking forward to coming out here and like just connecting to me again that i haven't been able to be for so long i'm not really able to be at home like i don't really get glam and i don't kind of do go out with my friends and stuff and anyway i ordered this really lovely swimming costume as you guys would already have seen in the vlog and i posted it and it literally just triggered so many people they just found it really offensive that i was wearing a cut out swimsuit and they left loads of comments about the size of my boobs and why would i choose to wear something like that and they told me how awful i looked in it and i just do you know what it was like one of the first times honestly that i've received like mass hate like that on a post in a really long time but it was the first time that i kind of looked at it really objectively instead of subjectively and i kind of really looked at it with such love honestly for the people that felt the need to project their negativity and their sadness and their their negative perception on the world and filter it into a nasty comment on social media and it just really made me think like what is it about a woman in an outfit that she loves displaying such radiance that she's happy and living her best life that triggers these people and it just made me feel really sad for them and i just i just want you to know that i hope whatever you're wearing however other people perceive you to look however other people perceive you to be as a person none of it is anything to do with you and you are so worthy of love validation happiness success feeling beautiful but nobody can give that to you and nobody can take that away from you if you have it as a strong foundation within yourself. And I mean, you guys know that I have therapy every week and I have been now for nearly two years. And I just really feel like I'm getting to a point now where 
like the lessons that I'm learning through therapy are really starting to blossom into my daily situations like this is a situation that this time last year would have really knocked my confidence and I probably would have I don't know maybe even deleted the pictures or like restricted comments on it and like I, it would have it would have made a real impact on like the outfits I choose to wear moving forward and like god forbid probably my the the way I perceive my body and that like breaks my heart because I'm three months postpartum babe do you know what I mean like this is a time in my life that it's not natural to me to love the way I look honestly like I'm so proud of my body and I'm so proud of what I have done with my body I think I think any woman ever is amazing but especially the journey that we go on with pregnancy breastfeeding postpartum like it's it's incredible but it's also such a sensitive time to a woman and the way that she views herself and this time around I'm really really proud of how accepting of myself I am and being accepting and loving my body and being proud of my body doesn't necessarily equate to radiating confidence and like being obsessed with the way I look I've definitely been more confident in the way I look and I've definitely felt fitter I've definitely felt stronger and I've definitely felt more comfortable and confident in my outfit choices than I do at this point in my life but I'm trying really hard to embrace my body the way that it is right now because I know what I've achieved with it you know and this is just a really long-winded way of saying that these negative comments didn't affect me but I felt like I wanted to speak about it because I know how this can affect somebody and if there is somebody out there that needed to hear this today please don't ever ever let anybody else's perception of the way you look of the person they think you are to be or or the way that they see you as living your life please don't ever 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 let anybody else dictate how you view yourself or the way you look at yourself and you think your life should be lived like I really want you to know I think you're so beautiful and I think you're so amazing um and you're really really worthy of all of the good things and if the good things to you like it is to me is a nice swimming costume um that you only see a size six model wearing on the website and you think I really like that swimming costume and I don't know how it's going to look on me but I'd love to give it a go because it's a piece of clothing that I like the look of wear the swimming costume do you know what I mean like honestly I'm at such a point with my body at the moment where it's like I get I get asked da daily online like how do you wear that when it's not breastfeeding friendly like what do you do how are you confident wearing that when you've just given birth blah 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 and it's like I'm at such a point right now where I don't honestly care if it's breastfeeding friendly I don't honestly care if it's postpartum friendly whether it's baggy or tight or whatever if I like the piece of clothing I deserve to wear it I deserve to wear it and so do you whether you feel confident in yourself right now whether you love the way you look right now or not you deserve to wear the pieces of clothing and I know we hear this all the time and I know sometimes it sounds like a bit of a broken record and I know sometimes it's hard to believe but trust me you are worthy of wearing the pieces of clothing that you like the look of you are worthy of developing the style that you want to develop regardless of how you see your body of however however you think you look right now you're still okay you still have the validation from me even though it should come from you that you can go and wear the stuff babe and feel great about it and I hope you know that other people's projections of the way you look or the person you are really nothing to do with you it's all to do with them and that's on nearly two years of therapy honey okay guys we're at bamboo coo Made it. We come here every year and I wonder if we'll still be coming here when Saint is like 12 and just running off to the wave machine by himself. What do you think? You wanted to go on there when we walked in, didn't you? Bamboo Koo is honestly a vibe. I love it here. I'm not going to vlog too much because obviously there's the music in the background, but we've just got a bit of food. I've got pasta, Professor Spravas, Connor's got a chicken wrap, Saint's got pizza. And 
desperate to get in the pool, so. <laughs> so, do you think it's cool here? Yeah. Yeah? Oh my hot, hot, yeah. It's hot? Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, go on then, you can eat it. No, hot. it's a bit hot, isn't it? I think this bit's okay. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Don't have it. Let me try it. Mm -mm. Pizza. Okay, we've had a good old play in the pool. We've literally ran from every pool to each other in about 30 seconds left. Romeo fell asleep in the pram, but now I think he's waking up. Or is he? I can't tell. I don't, you know when you don't want to like open the pram to distract them? But now we've got some dessert that Sade is very excited to tuck into. We've got some chocolate cake. Oh my god, it's so cheap. And a co chocolate croissant. I know, it's so cute. Oh, That's yummy. Ah, oh, good car. Well done. Oh, yes. Oh, is that nice? Yummy in your tummy. What a view for our final night in Ibiza. So pretty. Okay, so it's nine o'clock. Everybody has officially gone. Stephen and Abby um, just got their taxi over to the airport. We've just finished putting the kids to bed. Um, we were in San Antonio a lot later than we expected to be tonight. The taxi's out here. Oh my goodness. Honestly, if anybody is coming to Ibiza time soon, actually, and in fact, it was like this last summer as well. Honestly, you have to pre-book your transport. It is crazy. We have the majority of the time we've been here, because there's been so many of us, but we've basically had like a minivan around the island the whole time, because there's literally been like 10 to 12 of us. Obviously, as people have left, we've just kind of been like getting in taxis and stuff. And from San Antonio, which is where Bambuco is, it's right next door to Ocean Beach. Line didn't even look that long. It was probably about five people waiting for a taxi, like five groups of people, including us. It was taking quite a while, so I said to Con, do you know what, I'm gonna take the boys, because Romeo needed a feed. Obviously, it was really hot. There wasn't any shade there or anything. I'm gonna take a little stroll down to the Chinese and get us a takeaway and by the time i had like walked to the chinese sat down ordered us our food me and saint ate like a little bit came back connor was still waiting for a taxi he'd been waiting for like an hour and a half and then we had to wait for another like half an hour 45 minutes it took just over two hours to wait for a taxi so definitely pre-book it would have actually taken us a much quicker time to walk it than um, the time we spent waiting for a taxi, so just a word of advice. We've got a little Chinese from Cheeky One to celebrate our first anniversary being celebrated in Ibiza and we've just honestly had the best time. Like, now that everybody's gone and we're about to pack our suitcase because our flight is at like just gone 11 in the morning tomorrow morning, it's just that moment at the end of the holiday, like, where I'm looking out at the beautiful sunset over the island and I'm just thinking like, we have truly had such a beautiful time out here, haven't we? How much fun has this been? Oh. <clears throat> I don't want to wait another year to do it. Well, I know. Next week. I know. What's been your highlight? Two highlights. Spending time with everyone, spending time with you and also Leo's last night. Leo's was just, I know, I was telling everybody about Leo's, I was gutted I didn't vlog. It was so good. I just really hope we're those parents that in like 20 years time, if we're still coming out to Ibiza every year to celebrate our anniversary, which I hope we are, then Leo's is the place that I like want to go out on a night out with Romeo and Saint and any other future children we have at that point. Like I just want to do that kind of thing with them. I just, it's just so much fun. So I don't even actually know what Ellie got us either. So we will find out together. So it looks like we have um, crispy chili beef, satay chicken skewers, uh, chicken chow mein, I want to say, some rice, 
Uh, no, that's the chicken chow mein. Don't know what that is then. Sweet and sour chicken, spring rolls, and what's in here, honey? Oh, sweet and sour sauce, curry sauce, and poison. I guess what's what's this one? I was a bit stumped on what this one was. Chicken curry. Duh. Duh. Chicken chow mein. Yeah. Come on, Crispy chili beef. Oh no, no wait, that's sweet, sweet and sour chicken. chicken. I know. Oh, now it's taste test live on cam. Mm. Good still? It's been sitting there for about an hour. Okay then guys, well you know what? I think this is going to go ahead and finish off the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Connor, was it just the best surprise it ever for you? It was a pretty good surprise, <laughs> uh, yeah. Next year is your turn and I'm going to have to blow Oh, oh my yeah. god! You're going back to Ibiza, who you would have known? <laughs> We've had the best time, I've loved vlogging this trip. I wish I vlogged a little bit more, but also it was really nice to just be in the moment with our friends and the kids and stuff, you know. I can't remember if I said or not at the start of this vlog that I'm actually going to be running a giveaway with Ibiza Summer Villas over on my Instagram. So make sure that you guys go and follow on there and wait for that giveaway to go live because it's honestly been so incredible having this villa and genuinely for us like with two small kids now villa holidays are the way forward don't you think Con? yeah like it's just a lot of it's a lot for us to if we want to go on holiday now to stay at a hotel because saint needs his own separate room yeah stay at the hotels it becomes quite faffy yeah like we have to go back to the hotel room for them to have a nap etc yeah. we're saying you know whereas here it's been really nice to I don't know, just, I guess, like, have that extra bit of freedom for us and still feel like we're at home and have mm. all of those bits and bobs available and, like, be able to go and, I don't know, just go and sit on the balcony when the kids are asleep and... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, we love villa life and, oh, my God, the total dream one day would, would be to have a villa out here, I think. I'm ready to sell up and get out here now. <laughs> We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Goodbye my loves. Excuse the mess but me and Saint just wanted to come on here to say thank you for the first wedding anniversary. Thank you for being my wife. Thank you for being the best mum to Saint. We both love you more than you ever know. And I hope you uh, see, enjoy seeing this clip when you are nearly finished editing. And hopefully, we'll see 